there's a few farmers up in Northern California that have um, high temperature fuel cells or, or uh, biogasification units that are creating hydrogen from their waste products, which could include cow shit. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to TransLogic, I'm Jonathan Buckley. Last year at the Los Angeles Auto Show, we saw a variety of fuel cell concepts on the show floor. And this year, the show aims to continue that trend, but with one big difference. We actually get to drive some. So I found myself here with Jenna Hardline, who's the Environmental Communications Manager here with Toyota, and standing in front of a product which I imagine is quite an important product for Toyota here it at this year's show. It is indeed, yes. 20 years in the making, yeah. the Toyota Mirai. It will be hitting the streets of California in the fall of 2015. So we're pretty excited. We plan on getting about 3,000 units on the road by the end of 2017. So we're on the way. So tell me about the Mirai. I mean. This is a car that's been sort of bandied around. People have been talking about it for a while. We saw hints of it last year at the LA Auto Show, but now it's finally, we're driving it. It's exciting to actually finally be in one. So the basic of this car is it's pretty much like a Prius, but instead of having an internal combustion engine, it yep. has a fuel cell that creates electricity on demand that powers an electric motor that drives the car. Right. It's a 300 mile range. It takes about three to five minutes to fill up at a hydrogen station. That's it. That's it. Obviously, infrastructure's got to be one of the biggest priorities to get fuel cell technology out to the masses. Yes, infrastructure is definitely the biggest hurdle that we're facing right now. And that's why Toyota's invested so heavily in the infrastructure as well. Yep. So in addition to the California Energy Commission funding some stations, we worked with a company called First Element. And then also recently, we announced a collaboration with Air Liquide on the East Coast okay. to ensure that we have the appropriate infrastructure to support these vehicles. So, and that is the meaning of the name Mirai, isn't it? Future. Yes. So is that where Toyota sees it going? Because obviously Prius, you, you mm -hmm. cornered the market with the Prius when it first came out, right. despite the naysayers. Yeah. Uh, and, and it's been, it's a huge part of Toyota's market. Mm -hmm. But is. now do you see that the Mirai is where we're going to go or the next evolution of that? You know, it's following kind of the same trajectory, we hope. So it's essentially got the same kind of characteristics as a, an electric car? It is an electric car. It is an electric it's car. It's absolutely electric car. The only electric. difference is instead of plugging it in, you refill it at a hydrogen station and it creates the electricity on board. It's been said that you can create hydrogen from just about anything, including garbage. How does that work? So right now, the, the main, the commercial way of producing it right now is from natural gas. Yep. If you do garbage, you take the methane that's off-gassed from, from a dump, you split the methane into hydrogen and you have a bit of a CO2 offset to that. And then if you look at electrolysis, all you do is you break the hydrogen off of the oxygen from water. You're very smart. <laughs> I'm just saying. The most exciting part about the Mirai um, is that we can own them. Yes. And that starts next year. It does. In the fall of 2015, customers will be able to purchase the Mirai for $57,500 yep. with potentially $13,000 in federal and state rebates. Or if you want to go with a lease, it's $4.99 a month for 36 months. And both lease and retail customer or purchase customers will be able to have our 360 degree ownership experience which is kind of our way of giving you complete peace of mind. Um, I might be an idiot. Where does this go? Because Nowhere, in your pocket, because you have this button there. Oh, right. so this just sits right. away. Okay. It just sits there, and yep. you press the pedal, and you see the ready sign. Yep. So that tells you you can go straight into the ready go. release the handbrake, mm. and off you go. Oh, it's all very familiar, isn't it? Yeah, it's, it's an electric drive. It's just different power sets. You could see right now, this car handles perfectly like an electric car. There are no rattles, no noises, no issues. Oh, it's a fully no issues. vehicle. Yeah. The Passat, which was the newest model in the year yeah. that we started this fourth generation of hydrogen cars. You can interchange uh, the technology from model to model because we built our vehicles modular. 
for instance a Passat or a Golf and then fit it with any powertrain instead of making a special car only yeah. for electric drive or a special car only for hydrogen. VW is, it, uh, is going, it seems, for options. Uh, is that the plan for the future? Is, do you see it as a, you know, there is not one single answer for the future of transportation, that we have multiple options for various applications? You're, you're totally right, because you're looking at 160 different world markets, right? right? So you need to make sure that you meet the customer's demands in every country. Yep. And therefore, uh, it is on us to be flexible and uh, to, uh, to offer any kind of powertrain with uh, a maximum number of, of vehicles. The A7, the H-Tron that we're driving, it's the first real fuel cell vehicle that has given you a number of options. We can run fuel cell hydrogen, but we can also run battery as well. Yeah. And we have the ability to charge that battery. Yes. From an outlet. From an outlet with a plug-in function. And uh, what's new too is that we have two electric motors, one in the front axle and one in the rear axle. Right. So it's an electronic quadro. So that means we have all wheel drive? Yes. So the point of this car is you can have a fuel cell vehicle that is no compromise. Yes, that's that's the, the, the target of, of Audi with this car. We can show we have not to make a compromise because it is sporty like a typical Audi. Yeah. We have the, the most power output of the fuel cell cars. Yeah. The car goes accelerates faster. Uh, reaches a higher velocity and uh, we have the opportunity to run on hydrogen and uh, to run from the net with a plug-in function. So is our fuel cell future finally here? Well with the Toyota Mirai going on sale next year and a few other exciting offerings still in the concept phase we could be closer than ever. For Translogic, I'm Jonathan Buckley, we'll catch you next time.